Welcome back. Art and jazz go hand in hand at the Fort Herod Jazz Festival coming up this weekend in Harrodsburg. It's on with Mary Elizabeth Stein, Sam Carr, and Miles Osland. And we're going to be getting a little jazz performance to come as well. Thank you all so much for being here. Thank Thanks you for, for having us. us. Harrodsburg is the place to be, and this event, Sam, is just a great celebration of the community, the music, the food. What can people expect at the festival? Well, it's a three-day free event. Just bring a lawn chair, a blanket, and sit on the lawn at historic Old Fort Herod, and you'll hear 18 jazz bands over the three days. Wow. Mary Elizabeth has put together some really good artisans that are coming on Saturday. Uh, Saturday night, our headline act is Adrian Crutchfield, the last sax player to tour and record with Prince. Wow. Uh, actually, the festival theme is sax to the max. We've got <laughs> <laughs> this gentleman from UK who's going to be performing and doing some really neat things on Sunday with UK and um, it's just it's um, we're in our sixth year but we've we've really we've really come a long way it seems like a lot going on in such a short amount of time Mary Elizabeth tell me a little bit more about your event that's happening on Saturday sure right? well this is the third year of okay. the artist expo and we have grown tremendously in the past three years um, we have a lot of very local artists from Mercer County and Anderson mm -hmm. County, and then we have artists from around the state wow. as well. Um, and this year we're very excited because we have representation from our schools. Um, our elementary school and our middle school have a lot of artists who are going to be um, showing a lot of different mediums, which we're very excited about. And then Campbellsville University is also going to be showcasing um, some of their student work as well as some of their alumni work. Wow. So we have a huge representation this year. And Miles, this is a, a time of celebration for you as well with the right. Jazz Ensemble. Yeah, big uh, commemoration of, we're calling it 3050. I've been the director of the Jazz Ensemble for 30 years, believe it or not. Wow. And the Jazz Ensemble has been uh, an actual uh, performing group for 50 years and uh, we're also celebrating 40 years of recording of the Jazz Ensemble with the release of a, of a bunch of CDs. On Sunday, all day Sunday, all the a lot of college bands from all around Central Kentucky are featured so, and we've been doing this for a few years now and it's, it's just a great event and we're putting together especially we're putting together an alumni jazz ensemble UK alumni jazz ensemble I have kids coming in kids <laughs> uh, <laughs> st former students coming sure. in from Texas and all around so it, it's gonna be gonna be great Okay, well, the Jazz Fest is happening uh, Friday through Sunday. Once again, that is in uh, Mercer County. And the Artisan Expo will be Saturday only, but go for all three days. All the events are at Old Fort Herod State Park. And just to give you a little taste of what you can expect this weekend, we're going to send you off with a performance from Brooke Giles III and Greg Chaco. Take it away. <laughs> Question. 